sorry I haven't made an update for a while. I've been really, really busy with the store. We've done incredibly well. We've sold quite a lot of Solenopsis Geminata colonies. I can say every customer has been amazing and everyone has been satisfied with the product I've given them. So here, today I'm doing an update for the Componitus Morosis Queen. You may know I've had her for three months now. She has not done the best in a test tube. She regularly leaves the test tube and waits in the arena. That tells me that she likes a dry nest. She's had about three workers, but you know, I don't know what's going on. It's just one left now. I don't know if she's ate, ate them or, or what. So desperate times is desperate measures. I've placed her in a, an acrylic nest now. She may just stay here the whole time. At least in this I can give her a better humidity gradient. Plus I'll know in this nest she won't be able to escape easily. Yeah, so anyway, she's eaten a lot of her brood. I've kept her in the dark. I really want her to do well because she's going to be part of the Solenopsis Guy dual nest. So that means I need her to have some workers. I want a brood booster today. Not the best thing to do, but I really wanted to do well. My problem is I don't have any brood of Componitus morosis. So I'm going to give her some brood of a different ant species. It will be in the Componitus genus, but I'm going to give her some of the Componitus or Aventris colonies brood. They are doing fantastically well. Where's the. There you are. It's about 20 eggs there. Or cocoons. Three things could happen. One, she could adopt the brood and they'll all hatch into workers and she'll have 20 plus workers. Now this would give it a real good kickstart and I think she'll just do well then. Second thing that could happen is she could eat them. Now that's not a bad thing necessarily. I mean it'll boost her body fat reserves, she'll be able to lay more eggs easily. They won't be wasted. <laughs> and the third thing that could happen is the workers could hatch and they could form a revolt and kill her. Well, I don't think that will happen, but you never know. Now, she is the most aggressive queen I own. They are supposed to be the most aggressive Componitus species, but she literally, she charges at food, anything I put in the test tube. She runs straight past the workers. They're quite timid, in fact. There's her only worker now, and uh, she's just exploring the nest. So yeah, I'm brood boosting today. This is a part one video. I'll make an update, and that will be if it was a success or not, being that when they hatch. So it could be another few weeks from now. Okay, let's just add the brood in. She may attack these crazily now. Okay, she hasn't really reacted yet. Let me just uh, I'm gonna brush one near her. Oh, oh, smelling it. Oh, yeah. This uh, brood that I've boosted her with is the Componitus oriventris. That's from Southeast Asia. In, well, it's from Malaysia. A fantastic species. They're black, but they have shiny metallic bodies. Now, she is from South America in Chile. These ants would never have met. So yeah, it's a bit of an experiment. I know it's not ideal, and it is a bit controversial. But I won't make a habit of this. I just want her to do well. 
Anyway, that's part one done. Wish me luck, and uh, I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye now.